Welcome, welcome. Hello, fellow diamond painters. It's DP Crazy Lady. It is getting close to my birthday. By the time you see this video, it will be my birthday. <clears throat> it is 11.20 uh, p.m. on the 26th, and I'm doing the uh, year in review. I don't know if this is going to be uh, a two-parter or just a single part, you know, just one. I may run it longer. I don't know. And uh, the second thing that I want to do is after I show all the ones that I have diamond painted, I'm going to haul over to this table all the other diamond paintings that I'm going to try to accomplish in 2024. Uh, there's quite a few larger ones. And uh, as I get them done, uh, I do want to replace, you know, get new ones, get, I don't know, I don't know why, but it's what I do. So it is December and it's 2023, so here we are. These are not going to be in exact order. I am bad at order uh, when it comes to things. I've written a lot of it down. Uh, I can tell you dates if that's what you have to have. If not, you know, I can tell you the basics. There are a few in that I don't have here. They were gifted, you know, for my sister and whatnot. I have, um, a, you know, some pictures. They're not real good, but I do have some pictures. But before I start this, I have uh, something to show you. One, two, three. She's done. <laughs> she is uh, done. I finished her tonight at uh, 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. And uh, I'm going to try and get her out here uh, by the end of this week. Uh, it really won't make too much difference because the holiday, there'll be no mail and etc. Uh, but that wolf is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, I hope you like it. I'm hoping my sister will like it. Uh, like I said, if she doesn't, uh, she can always ship it back. And I'll be happy to frame it and hang it for myself. So, uh, after this, now, I don't know. I should finish those little penguins that I was working on. That's around, and I want to finish them. So, I will finish them, and then uh, we'll be off and running, I guess, for the uh, Autumn Bridge. So, we shall see what we shall see. So, she's done. This is going to be a big pain in the patootie because these, a lot of these are large. And I'm, oh, I'm going to have a heck of a time laying them somewhere. I have to see if I can get them over here without the puppy being in my way. Because he is... Here on the uh, couch, bed, day bed, uh, under the blanket. Okay. Uh, the very first one that I ever did, I got him in December of 2022. And uh, I have three of them, but I can only find the one. Uh, it's probably rolled up somewhere else, and I don't know where. But this was the very first diamond painting I ever did. Uh, it was a partial. Uh, I did this one in uh, pink. I did one in uh, blue, and I think the other one is green. But my mother liked it so much when she saw the picture, I bought her this one, and uh, 
the blue and the green also. And she did this one, my mother. And she wants to hang it up. You know, frame it or hang it, however she plans on doing it. I don't know, but I thought this was really pretty. I got it off of Amazon. And it's really, you know, it's a partial. But it was so fun to do. So, I started with this, and I thought, this is too quick. You know, I want something with more detail. I want, I want something else. And my daughter and I uh, was watching um, this one girl that was gifted. Uh, I don't know who she is, but she was gifted uh, uh, a diamond painting from Diamond Art. I was watching, a, you know, going through YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I seen, you know, they mentioned Diamond Art. And I thought, well, what's that? You know, the Diamond Art Club, what is that? So I thought, okay, that was in January, middle of January. So I thought, well, I'll look through it. And uh, I spotted this next one. And I fell in love with it. It is a square. Uh, it is a 22 by 22. It's a diamond art. And it's a Capricorn. And uh, there were 48 colors. And three ABs. This thing is beautiful shiny. I think I'm going to hang this one up in my room right now. Uh, well, I'm going to have to wait. Well, I'm going to be taking the Christmas one down. And I'm going to hang this one up in my room since it is my birthday. And that's why I got this one, this Capricorn. And it was the first large painting I ever did. And the first square. And I fell in love with the squares. I, I fell in love with them. It took me, and I know I have it in here. I started it on oh, February 11th, 2023, and finished it March 4th, 2023. So it took me a little while. I wasn't used to, you know. But it turned out, I think it turned out, you know, excellent. So, my next, I can't say my next because these are not in order. After this, after this, I just went cuckoo, you know, for diamond painting. My daughter went on the D-stash and she just started buying and buying and buying and buying. So, that's how we both accumulated way too many diamond paintings. This one was a diamond art. It was in a group of ones that she had bought on D-Stash. That's what I'll be showing you later. I have several of uh, them by this Mar uh, Mar Marilyn Kazanov. She does kittens and puppies and such. This had 22 colors, and it was a 13 by 13, and it's a partial. You know, the purple area is not painted. But what I liked about this is this is all covered. So it was more than just, you know, outlining and putting a few things on. And the real shiny uh, area here, that is the black uh, 310, which I really love. Some people don't like it. But there was only one AB, and that was that black AB. So, I enjoyed this one. Um, I don't think it matters how long it took me, because if I tell you, you know, it's, I just want to show you what I have done. And uh, if you're curious later on and you want to comment and ask a question about it, I can tell you, maybe. I stopped counting the hours after a while i stopped counting the hours that it took to paint them because i thought oh, that's a pain i'm just going to count the days because my hours are so split up i could 
diamond paint for six, eight hours and take a, a, an hour break and do laundry or get supper ready or whatever. And then I'm back at it again and I'm constantly adding up numbers and adding up numbers. And no, it's a pain. So I just count the days. So this was one of my really favorites. This is a Chuck Pinson. This is uh, one of his covered bridges. Uh, it's called the Red Covered Bridge. And it is a 17 by 13. And it had um, five ABs. And if you can't see the sparkle in this, I mean, the ABs are everywhere in this. And I just loved doing this one. And this is a round. And I just, it's gorgeous. I'd like to get this one framed too. Uh, there's so many I'd like to get framed and I have areas that I could place them. But, you know, I just have to start shopping at Goodwill and see if I can find me some frames. So, this one, I'm not sure how long it took me. It's probably in my book. Okay. Next is, this is Princess and the Pea Kitty. It's a diamond art. There are 52 colors. It's completely diamond painted. And there are five ABs. And uh, yeah. I had an issue with uh, diamond art. Because I ran out of a, a probably like 20 drills of one color. 20 drills of one color. And it took them three weeks to get this, get those drills to me. By the time it came, even this rolled up and protected, it was no longer sticky in that area. So I had to use glue. I don't buy that other glue, you know, from them and stuff. I use Aveen's tacky glue. It's got a nice little tip on it. You put a couple little dabs and go on. And it works great for small areas. So this one I really enjoyed. And it's by that Marilyn Kazanab. So... And then I'm sure y'all that were watching remember this one, the black and white, that, uh, oh geez, I got a piece of fuzz, there we go, piece of fuzz, sorry, it's a round of course, and uh, everyone was running out of drills, and I didn't. And like I said, I could have sent to whomever needed them. But there were 16 colors. And uh, uh, I believe one AB. Yeah, one AB. But boy, I'm telling you, it didn't need more than one AB. It was by Deborah Lewis, 17 inches by 12 inches. Nice. This one I do plan on framing. And I just noticed I've got some drills missing right there. Son of a gun. That would be... What is that? That's the slash. It's the 125. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing I saved drills. It's the shiny ones. How'd they come out? Hmm. All right. This one gets set aside. I'm going to have to replace those. It's still sticky. I can feel it. So I don't know where they went. Okay. This is one my daughter got me. It's a Randall Spangler. Uh, she knew that I really liked Randall Spangler. And I couldn't afford any of his large paintings. And they had this one. Really reasonable. And uh, 
It's a 15 by 13. It's diamond art, of course. 44 colors. And there are three ABs. And this is a shrunk down version of his larger, you know, paintings. So there would have been more, you know, to it. But this was fun to diamond paint. It didn't take me that long, and I really enjoyed this one because I, I do love Randall Spangler. That's one of my favorites. And this is a smaller one, but I was getting to the point where I want to do bigger, 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 bigger. And this is a round. So I think I told you everything that you needed to know about this one, but it's one of his draglins, and it's sparkly. It is sparkly. This one is humility. Every time I look at this, or every time I think about it, it makes me want to cry because of the wording that was in the description. There's another one I seen. It shows a lion looking up and there's a lion in the heavens with wings. And I'm debating it. I believe Diamond Art has it. There were 36 colors on this. There are three ABs. It's a 27 by 20 inch. Uh, it's uh, Abraham Hunter. And it's just beautiful and I had it hanging up for a while I had this hanging up for a while in my room and I I love this I love it I love it I love it I think besides one other one in here this is my all-time favorite definitely so I'll get this that. So I can get these all back in their boxes. And here we go with Craftively Moonlight in the Garden. I know you all seen me diamond painting this one. At least most of you have. I was in shock when my daughter got me this one. I, I went off on the video a little. This has uh, 80 colors. And it not only has ABs, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 ABs. It also has 4 LZs, which are crystals. They're like these little gold and uh, ones that look like a ruby color and such. And if you know, I removed the two cats. There was one in the window over here and there was one on the railing. Uh, they just didn't look right. Uh, you couldn't tell they were cats, so I removed them and uh, added in you know, for the windows and stuff. And I think it turned out beautiful. And I turned around because this cat reminded me of a cat we had rescued named Frankie. I put Frankie's name on here because he had one green eye and one blue eye. And uh, he passed away. He had feline AIDS when we rescued him. And uh, that's why I put the name in, put the name Frankie. So, and this I so enjoyed, diamond painting. It's a square. And like I said, big. That's what I like. I don't know why. I, I mean, I could probably finish smaller ones quicker. But... I like the bigger ones, the more detail, the, you know, the, the time consuming, I guess. It's, 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 it takes a little longer 
So it really gives me something to do. So we get this one rolled up. This one hung in my room for a while. Now it's just going to be rolled up and put away. Okay, these things are falling off. This one was done in October. It was done for Halloween. It's a craftably. It is a licensed stock photo, so it's no particular artist. It, well, it says Lori Kajena. You know, it, I'm sure she's in charge of it, or it, it's her design, but it's a stock photo. And there were uh, two LZs and uh, four ABs, and there are 56 colors. And uh, the size of this, I'm sorry, they don't put it on the painting. Wait a minute, yeah, there is. It's very small. 24 by 18 inch. I'm sorry. It's up in the uh, corner of this uh, legend. This was, you know, there was quite a lot of color blocking in a lot of areas. It's around. But I love the eyes. The LZs are these little gold dots for the eyes if you can see them it's beautiful and a spider on the book and it was a nice Halloween project so and this hung up in my room during the month of October for Halloween by Craftably, which I really love their work. This was done back in, let me see, I do have that one in here. Where is it? I know I have it here somewhere. Yeah. This was done April 28th, and I finished it May 6th. And I was a little ticked off because these round stones, underneath was no stick. No stick whatsoever. None. I tried baby wipes and doing what Diamond Art said to do. This is a Diamond Art. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. Uh... They said, wipe it off with a baby wipe, non-alcohol, you know, baby wipe, wiped it, let it dry, let it sit, and it should be sticky again. No. There was no stick. So, I used the Aileen's glue stick that I have. So, this had 32 colors. It's a 16 and a half by 23.6. It's by Senevia Meister. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a round. And it was a lot of fun to diamond paint. Uh, I also have, don't know if you can see it, this right here. Okay. This is a three piece. It's not a very good photo. Uh, but I did it for my sister that's into Oriental. And I'm waiting to see when she frames it and how it looks. And I had got it through, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the place. Where did, oh, GBKFE. It was the first time I ever ordered from them. And, uh, what else did I have in here? I had shown you the portfolio it had the fox and the other fox and my Thanksgiving, uh, etc. So those you had already seen. Uh, trying to, okay. 
So, this is stone. All right. It's a dream catcher wolf. That's what it's called. Well, it's called wolf dream catcher. So. I gotta put all these away now. <laughs> okay, this is my pasta puppy little chef. This is a Marilyn Cazenab. A lot of color blocking. And I don't do multi-placing. So this was done, you know, just with the, you know, single placer. That's how I do it. That's what I think. You know, I don't care to uh, multi-place. I've tried it and tried it, and it just does not work for me. I was trying to see how long it took me to do since it, okay, it took me, okay, I started on July 14th, and I finished it on July 21st. So what is that, seven days a week on single placing? I don't know. So it's only a 17 by 17 Marilyn Casino. <coughs> Excuse me, it's called a pasta puppy. There are 40 colors. And there are th uh, three ABs. And uh, I thought he was so cute. Look at his little eyes. He had the cutest little eyes. And it's a square. So. Here's my all uh, one of my really faves. This is a diamond art by Elizabeth Alba. It's called Oberon. There are 48 colors. There is uh, one L. Well, the, it says L520. That's these. And there is one, two, three. I know this, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, there's one, like, LZ, they call theirs an L, uh, craftably calls theirs an LZ, and those are the stones that go in the candle, the rhinestone type, and this, it's a round, and I renamed it myself to uh, Gizmo because it reminded me so much of my Maine Coon that passed away. My good old Gizmo. And these uh, ABs, they're all the way over, across, and down. And I put each one on individually with tweezers. All the stones that, uh, you know, the ABs, everything, I did them all with uh, tweezers. So, this thing is beautiful. It's a 20 by 25 inch. It is gorgeous. My gizmo. There you go. Hope I'm showing you my mouth and you know, so you can see what I've done. Okay, y'all remember this one. Partners in crime. I don't suppose I gotta go through that. <laughs> but it was a Gary Patterson 20 by 25. A lot of color blocking. 56 colors. And there were four. ABs. So, and it was all done single drill. So, there you go. The next one y'all see me do. Yeah. 
and strength along the journey. Now see me do that one. 53 colors. There are two ABs. I believe it was two ABs. Uh, a 29 inch by 22 inch, and it's a Chuck Pinson. And I love the trees. I love the trees. They're gorgeous. The trees are gorgeous. And there is a sparkle. There is a sparkle and a shimmer. Okay. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. My next one... I did quite a while back. You might have seen it as well. It is a Randall Spangler. Uh, it's gotten a little wrinkled. It is a 34.3 inch by a 24.6 inch a Randall Spangler. It's called Cat Bookshelf. Uh, there are 58 colors. There are three ABs. It is a square. Whoops. And some of the books came blank. So, these ones had sayings in them already. This one didn't. My kitties have passed away. Some of these don't even look like my cats. But I wanted the names. So I did them myself. Gizmo. Reba. She was my tortie. Pearl. She was... Uh, hold on, i got to get the puppy out of here. There he goes. Pearl. She was uh, Himalayan and uh, something else. I'm not sure. Uh, Milo. Which this one looks like him. Because he was an orange one. Then these over here just had their regular names. Well, I ended up coming up here. And these didn't have anything in them. And so I put in Yoda's name. He was just a kitten when he passed away. Uh, he had uh, feline leukemia too. He was born with it, I guess, or something. And he, I didn't want him suffering. Okay, these had whatever was in them. This cat right here reminded me so much of my panda that I put his name in this book, Panda. Then I went over and my daughter's cat, which maybe it's hard for you to see, but it says Carmela. That was her baby. And then as I went over further, I have the name Sheena, which was my other cat. I didn't get, you know, all my other cats' names in here. I suppose I could have, I could have not, you know, even put the names of these books. But these were blank, and it even mentioned, you know, if you got, it gives you blank spaces. If you know how to and you want to put the name in, you put it in. And I wanted to. But this is, you know, a big one. And uh, I worked on it and worked on it. And I loved every last bit of this. So, that's the last of these. I wanted to show you... Oh, man, I got everything piled on top of it. 
these were a couple other of my gnomes that I did. It says, I'm crazy and I gnome it. This was a partial I got on Amazon. And it's, I have it hanging in my room. The other one is a gnome. It says, let it be. And I got so tired of all that black that by the time I got up here, I said, you know what? I'm putting something up there. So I put Crazy Lady. So, those are those. Then, now I've got this one sealed. I just haven't gotten to the other ones yet. But I did all 12 of the cups. Some are not perfect because I'm sorry they came from Timu and they're smaller and some of them you can't read but they'll do the trick you know just either putting them in my window or putting them on my door. Uh, there's a few others in folders that I don't know if you've have seen or not seen. Uh, I thought maybe this would take more than one video, but I guess not. I figure my next video that I do, I will bring down all the paintings that I hope to and plan on painting uh, in 2024. Uh, so, I don't know if I said that Reba. Yeah, because Reba was my torty. I had two or three different torties. Sheena was a torty. Uh, but, well, that was 37 minutes of this is my year in review. It's maybe nothing special, nothing great, but it's my diamond painting that I started. You might as say I started in February and this is what I've accomplished through the whole year from February to December because December uh, yikes. December that's the last one now I may finish the penguins and that'll be my last one for December 2023 but this one's done. Uh, Y'all saw me do it. Y'all saw me start it. And uh, now it's finished. And it was, and I said 12 21 2023 to 12-26-2023. So it's, what, five days. I don't know if that's good, fast, slow, normal. I don't know. I just love to diamond paint. And if my hands aren't busy doing it, I get anxious. I want, you know, I need something to do. I can't just sit, you know, unless I'm so tired that there's nothing else I can do. So... Well, I guess this is a long enough video. It's getting close to 40 minutes. I'm sure I didn't, you know, explain anything to you. And maybe I went by too fast. And I'm lousy at getting stuff in order. Uh, I mean, it's in order in my book. But it's not so much in order when I tried to set them up. That was one I did for my sister, and you probably can't, there you can see it. it said it's five o'clock somewhere. I did that for her. Uh, she's putting it in her downstairs bar. I did that for a Thanksgiving. Um, box. I know there might be 
and I did, and I think you've seen it, that, that multicolor tiger. Uh, that's why I said I have them here, but Explaining them, putting them in order. You know, and see, this one was through Timu, and I'll tell you, that one turned out so perfect. Oh, come on, clear up. It's around, and it was adorable. Now, Amazon may have it. You know, and... It's Gnome and Kitty Halloween is what it was called, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, so everything else is pretty much what you see here is what it is. You know, my lightning lion. I did that uh, butterfly that Becky had gifted me. It's in my folder. I did this for my daughter. It says, I love you to the moon and back. That turned out really cute. Really pretty. And the colors. Oh, I love the colors. So that would be... And then my festive fireplace, of course. Which is still hanging on my wall. So, that's, like I said, it doesn't seem like a whole lot. You know, I feel like I've been diamond painting like every day for, you know, 300 and some odd days. But, well, I'm going to get off here. That's 41 minutes, almost 42 minutes. And I'm going to find the drills for this out of my diamond art uh, thingies and uh, replace those son of a gun so well have a good one i'm going to i don't know what i'm doing for my birthday other than just staying home just sitting doing nothing uh nothing special nothing no big deal nothing special it's just another day it's just another year so y'all have a good one hugs Hope you had a great Christmas. And, uh, you know, if you didn't get anything for Christmas, hopefully you had your family around you. And that's the most important thing. So, hugs. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Tickle. <coughs> hugs. And, uh, I don't know, uh, I'll try and get back with you. Uh, at least by New Year's, if I can. If not, I may be off for the between now and the first of the year. My daughter had her therapy today, and they said she did excellent. That she's healing, fantastic. Uh, they had her do all do new different exercises, and no boot. They want her to walk around with the cane. Uh, she has to do heel toe, heel toe, and that's what's painful. But she's doing it. She's great. She goes back on the 29th. You know, it's she's going to have to do it for about two months, two to three months, twice a week until they, so they have her where she's not limping or being stiff. And they said she's doing good. So thanks for your prayers. And thanks for your kind thoughts. So hugs. I got to get out of here. I got to get something to drink. I got dry throat. So I will get back with you as soon as possible. Love you all. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, comment. Keep coming back. I love it. Bye-bye. <laughs>